Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Okay. There was there was a lot of traffic today, you know, from from one link to the other to come to this class. <laughs> you too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had a I had a lot of inconveniences in the traffic. Okay. Okay. How's everything? Good. Yeah, I think so. Okay. That's great. That sounds like if we're going to have fun today, right? Teacher. Yes. Uh, I know I I I've been searching a lot of information about how to not say so 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 or more or less to sound more you know uh, more formal. formal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the the some uh, not so well. Not so well. Okay. Uh -huh. First, come on. Hey, how are you doing today? Well, not so good. Not not as not as well as you. Okay, not not so good. Okay, this is okay, another okay. one that you can use. Okay, uh, not very well lately. Uh, or well, then you can say, for example, very. And the opposite would be very well, right? But in the case, say not so, not so, not, not so, so well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's how, instead of saying so so, because okay, you know okay. the other one sounds yes, it's less formal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But you can you can say that too. Yes, of course. For an American, you you can say if an American asks you how are you, you can say so so. Yeah, so okay. so. Yes, we can use that. Okay. Okay. No okay. 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 Thanks. Okay, good. Okay, guys. So where did we stop yesterday? Who remembers? We had to do the the knowledge check. The knowledge check, right? Okay. Okay, so we have this one. We have the knowledge check about the passive voice. And then we have the reading, right? Yep. Right. Let me see if I have the image because the one in the video was really terrible. Yes, I think I have it here. Yes, this one will look much better. Okay, great. So then uh, we have the knowledge check to start with, you know, practicing with, uh, let's say, completed sentences using the simple present passive form of the verbs in brackets. Did you have chance to practice the link? Not so much? No. No. Uh, not much for me, teacher. Okay, but don't worry because you have the, it's but you, you're gonna have now the weekend three days, you know, to, to practice a little bit. And today we're going to introduce another topic similar to, not similar, but we're, it's related to the past tense, right? So this, and in that link, you will also be able to find other examples. Okay, so then okay. it's gonna be, a, you know, like an extra practice for you during these three days that we're going to be off. Then we have the, the instructions here, okay, for this knowledge check and let me see, Jaime, can you please read them? Lesson no? here. Okay. Hi, I'm here. Okay, yes, okay, sorry. Please. Go ahead. Can you please? Just read the instructions. Uh, sorry, I don't understand. Read the instructions here. Complete. Uh, in this window, I don't see. You don't see it. Okay, people, can you see the can you see the window? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, I can see yes. the window. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So it says here instructions. It says complete these sentences. Can you see? Uh -huh. Using the simple present passive form. Okay. 
of the, the bear, bear in brackets. In brackets. Okay, good. So here, remember that for brackets, you can also use parentheses, right? Okay, parentheses is uh, more American and brackets is British English. But you can use both, no problem. Okay, then here we have uh, many crops. Okay, many crops what? Are ground. Are are many crops ground. are ground in ground. Taiwan. Are grown, okay. Okay, we'll see if we don't find any mistakes here. Some crops are consumed. Are consumed. Locally. Are consumed. Okay. Next one. Other I, crops other are, crops exported. are exported. Well, I hope we don't have to write all the sentences. Okay. What else? Okay, rice, rice is rice cultivated is in warmer parts. Rice is cultivated in warmer parts. Cultivated. Remember the extra syllable in the past tense, right? Cultivated. Cultivated. Uh -huh. A wide variety of seafood is caught. Is caught. Is caught. Okay. Many people are employed. Are employed. Are employed. Okay. Next one. Are spoken. Are spoken. Are spoken in Canada. Are spoken in Canada. In Canada. Okay. About number eight. May may add. The use is the, the the US US is made, made, up, made, up, made up of fifty made states. Up. Made up. Yeah. Okay, of fifty states. Nine. Are uh, rice. Uh, A lot of sheep are raised. A lot of rice are raised. Raise, raise, uh huh, raise. Okay. And the number ten. Are manufactured. Are manufactured. Manufactured. Okay, good. So then it says complete the sentence uses the simple present passive form. Okay. Are grown. Are consumed. Are exported. Are cultivated. Uh, sorry, is cultivated. Is cut. Are employed. Uh, are spoken. Is made up. Are raised and are manufactured. Now uh, let's show answers. You can double check. And then we have our grown. Are consumed, consumed, are exported, are, exported, are cultivated, cultivated, is caught, are employed, employed are spoken, is made up, are raised, and are manufactured. Perfect people. No problem. Questions about vocabulary or expressions? No? No, it is fine. Okay, perfect. Good. Now let's see what we have in the next one. It was the reading, right? So we have to answer these six questions. Okay, based on this reading. Well, you can see it in your In your cell phone, okay. And I need a volunteer. Who wants to start reading here? The number Hi, two. Who? Hi, okay. Hi, Ben. Uh, do you have Do you have it in your cell phone, or you are reading from the screen? 
Uh, I, I have my, my... Okay, but you can read it here. My screen. Okay, Is go ahead. Number, number two? Yes. yes the kimchi. Okay. The kimchi okay. museum. <laughs> Kimchi Museum is good Korea. If you don't know about Kimchi, a trip to the Kimchi Museum is a eye-opening experience. The museum was founded in uh, 1986 to highlight Korea's rich Kimchi culture. The exhibit included display of cooking utensils and materials classic to make it, storing and eating the famous piglet vegetables. Pickle, uh -huh. The museum also provides details about the history and nutritional benefits of Korea's most beloved side dish. Finally, a stop by the souvenir shop to try various types of kimchi. Okay, the kimchi. Various types of kimchi. Okay, any, any, um, any questions about this vocabulary? No? Uh, for me once. No. Yes? Uh, famous piglets. Oh, pickled. Pickles. Ah, okay. What do you put in the pupusas? Huh? We know that we have the soups. Some tomato soups and what else? And you know some pickled vegetables, you know the the how do you call this? No, no, no. The the no the um, uh, how would you call this? The cabbage. The cabbage. No, the cabbage. Uh -huh. You can uh -huh. And then you put vinegar, water, and everything. And when it is preserved, okay, uh -huh. preserved, then you put it there, right? Like the encurtidos, I think they call them, right? Or curtidos. So this is where you have pickled mm -hmm. vegetables, right? Very delicious. Uh -huh. Very, very delicious. Uh, Fisher, on our. our Country is uh, scavenger. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yes, that's also that we call. That's more, but that's more sophisticated than the, than the culture that we use. Yes. Okay, very good. So, but if you see here, there is a museum about food. Okay, there are countries in which you know they have. Here we have now a, the gastronomic, right? The gastronomic. A, how do you call this? Uh, tours, right? There are like gastronomic tours or or markets, I guess. And then uh, where you can go to Huayua, you can go to uh, a taco, right? And then you can have this uh, typical food from El Salvador. But in this country, they have you see the the museum, the museum. Okay. Who wants to read the second one? The number three. Me, teacher. Okay, Beatrice, go. Me? The Museum of Gold, Bogota, Colombia. If you want to see beautiful objects, the Museum of Gold is the place. It holds one of South America's most stunning collection because the exhibits sparkle so brightly, you can actually to take photographs without using a flash on your camera. Not everything is made of gold, though. Among the exhibits are ancient pre-Columbian items. Many of them are made from a mixture of gold and copper, now as Tobago. As Tobago, yes. Okay, good. So this is, you know, the Museum of Gold. You know, it's a very nice museum, very, very big. And they have a lot of nice things, you know, from their, yeah, from their ancestors, from their, uh, in, in Bogota, Colombia, it's very, very nice. Okay, so for example, it's a place where you can find uh, probably one of the largest, you know, in, in, at least in Latin America. Okay, then uh, let's see the number three. Erika, you said you wanted to read, right? Sorry, I, okay. I just have a question. Uh huh. What is the meaning of copper? Copper. Copper. Copper is a material that, for example, have you seen the cables? There it is there, inside. There is a metal, and the oh. metal it looks like brownish. 
kind of brown, right? So that's the, the copper, okay? They, and it's very expensive, I guess, right? Cobre? Uh, the cobre. Cobre. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's How it. many times it is stolen? About. Uh huh. Exactly. Because it's expensive for this kind of. Uh, uh, and what is the uh, teacher? What is the meaning? The sparkle. Sparkle. The sparkle is like, for example, when when you see the flash. Did you have your camera? Okay. When the when the flash when you take the picture, then the flash sparkles a light, like brights, right? So then this is sparkling. Or oh, when you see, for example, the sometimes you that see shines it, a lot. Uh huh. You see the sky, and you see the stars. And sometimes you see some stars that they shine like this, they sparkle, okay? They sparkling so brightly that sometimes some people, some people say that they are a satellite, they are not stars, okay? So this is the brilliant, right? So this is, okay, what else? What meaning ancient? Ancient. Very old. Ancient. Very old. Very old. Okay. For example, ancient Egypt, ancient Europe is now like 1,000, 2,000 years ago. But the are ancient of El Salvador. It's ancient of El Salvador, yes, it's the, the pepiles, right? The pepiles of Lenca. Of Lenca, right? Also, they have to get. Okay, what else? Only? Well, if you have no questions later, you can tell me, no problem, okay? Uh, Erika, read the next one. The chocolate machine. The chocolate machine, color fish? Colon. Colon, Germany. Yes. The chocolate machine will teach you everything about chocolate from cocoa being to candy bars. You'll learn about chocolates, chocolates, 3,000 chocolates. 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 years history and discover how it was once used as money in South America. A real chocolate factory shows you how chocolate is made. After you finish the tour, you can sample a complimentary drink of rich boy curry chocolate perfect for those with a sweet tooth for a sweet tooth tooth with a sweet tooth okay with a sweet tooth sweet. you know what it, it, that's an expression the sweet tooth uh, you know what the meaning of sweet tooth is not no, sure. Well, sometimes, sometimes, right? Sometimes, not always, but you will tell me in this group. The women, for example, they love, they love sweets, right? For example, you are, uh, women are chocolate lovers, correct? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. And for example, uh -huh. and they say, didn't you say, for example, I have a, I have a sweet tooth. Tooth. It means that, for example, that you love sweet food, okay? Everything that is sweet, you love it, okay? For example, who has a sweet tooth here? Me. Okay. <laughs> Definitely well, me. Okay. Okay. What is your favorite, uh, let's say, uh, food? I like um, chocolate cake. Mm, okay, good. Excellent. And maybe um, cheesecake. That's my okay. favorite. Yes, that's right. For three milks. No. Two. <laughs> yes, right. For example, you know, I have a sweet tooth for desserts. You know, I like, for example, the, I like to have desserts and very sweet. You know, chocolate, I like it a lot too. Okay. What else? Any other word or vocabulary? Uh, gooey, pure chocolate, gooey, gooey. I don't know, gooey. Uh, uh -huh. That is uh, a sticky, right? You no, know, for example, when you touch the, when you leave a chocolate in your car and it's very hot, what happened to the chocolate? 
it melts. Oh, okay. It melts. And when you touch it, it's box. It's very sticky, right? Ah, okay. It's it's stick like, it and um, it becomes like very soft. Huh? Uh huh. It's like soft. Um, soft and sticky. Okay, then you can touch and it says, what? It's sticky. Your fingers are together. Okay. Okay. Soft and sticky. Okay. What else? Oh, when you, for example, when the people use it for, to make chocolate, right? And then, for example, the chocolate is soft and you know, stick it. And then they uh, they put in the, the the banana there and then they put it in the freezer. Okay, what else? Yeah, okay. Anything else? No? No. Okay, very good. Now, if you see, for example, here, this is the children that we can use in your, uh, I don't know, probably you can turn off your mics. There is a microphone on. Probably you can turn it off. Okay, thank you. Now, you can see here that says the Chocolate Museum will teach you everything about chocolate from cocoa bean. Okay, this is the word that we have for the one that we use for money in El Salvador many years ago? Cocoa. Uh -huh. Cacao. The cacao, right? It was the cocoa. cacao, yeah. Uh -huh, the cocoa bean. And then, you know, they got it from the tree. You know, the other day, uh, well, like, you know, like uh, it was in December, more or less, I went to Jardín Botanico, right? In, in, uh, Antiguo. Antiguo, yes, thank you. And then they have a tree. You know, a cocoa tree. And then you can see they have the cocoa beans. And then it's very nice. Well, now I don't know because it's flooded, right? But, uh, you know, in December it was there. It was very nice to see the cocoa bean tree. And then you can see, for example, imagine that from this tree, they turn it into Hershey's. Uh, what is there one? Uh, Snickers and then all kind of delicious chocolate, right? Then we have 3,000 year history. Okay, and discover how it was once used as money in South America. Imagine, and this is in Germany, right? So then uh, we are famous, you know, around the world. Okay, people, questions? Because the platform has questions for you. Okay, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jonathan, read the question and give me the answer. Number one. Okay. When you go off the beaten path, you do something unusual. The first one. Yeah, first one. Okay, yes, remember, right? Good. Do something different, right? Don't do the same. Eric, number two, and then yeah. Jorge Lemus, number three. Okay, second, when something when something is founded, it is discovered, the second one. Is founded, is discovered. Discovered. Sure, Eric. I'm giving you, I give oh, you the chance to sorry. doubt. Uh -huh. Sorry, 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 it started. Why? Because it's something that you are founded, you are beginning to do something exactly. so you are you need to start yeah. and you and it's easy to confuse with found right found it yeah uh -huh, but it is found okay well yeah. you see uh -huh, jorge number three okay when something is funny it is extremely attractive attractive right attractive. attractive okay good jessica number four or when something is ancient, 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 it is ancient. It, it is? is very old. It is very old. Okay, very good. Here we have. Teacher. Yes, sir. Teacher. Uh, I am disagreement with the with the two number two. Number two. Okay, okay. no problem. No, no, uh, no problem because I'm going to show you the answers and then after we can we can see uh, why the difference or why the other one was better. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay. But if you are, I mean, no problem if you don't agree with that. 
Okay, because after I show you the answers here. Good. Uh, next one. Let's see, Marvin. Yes, Marvin. Number five. Number five. Number five. Five. Are you a child? Yes, Marvin. No. Are you a we child? Lost. We lost Marvin. We are charged. Huh? Okay. Free good. or charged. Free or charged. Okay. Yes. But I don't see you anymore. With you. I lost you. Well, anyways. Okay, good. And Yesenia. Yes, Yesenia is here too. Number six. Hi. Uh, oh. When something is gooey, gooey, gooey it is uh, a thick and, and stick. And a sticky. Sticky. And sticky. Thick and sticky. Okay, here. All right, now let's check our answers and see our reading comprehension. Okay, number six is okay. When something is complementary, it is free of charge. When something is ancient, it's very old. When something is stunning, it is extremely attractive. Uh, when something is founded, it is it started. started. Okay, but uh, let me see, Jaime, what was your doubt here? Jaime? Sorry, uh, I'll recheck and, and it's, uh, it's okay. Yes, Sorry. because you know, remember that, for example, this one, if you say only found, is the past tense of find. Okay, and then okay. it will be discovered. But they, this it's is fun. tricky, it's tricky, okay? This is okay. a truco, right? This is a trick because when you say found it, it's because, uh, for example, I founded a company 10 years ago. Okay, so then I started a company 10 years ago. And then I, I found an excellent woman 10 years ago. I discovered an excellent woman about uh, 25 years ago, okay? They say she's my wife. Okay, discover, find, past tense. Okay, this is, is tricky. Be careful with this. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Um, be careful with this, uh, but it's, no, it's good. It's a good question because, you know, sometimes because of this little thing, in a test, we can make a mistake, okay? And that will take points from your exams, okay? Good, good the observation. Okay, then that's basically, guys, about reading comprehension. Uh, sorry, teacher. Yes, yes well, okay. Please, if, if you can move down uh, to the last scroll down, question. Scroll down. Scroll down. There you go. Uh -huh. Okay, scroll down. It, uh, a little bit more. Okay. Tick. Tick is a synonymous of sticky? No, thick. Thick is thick? the no, thick is the opposite of thin. Okay, suppose that you have uh, different levels of uh, let's say uh, for example you have water, the water is very liquid, correct? The water is very liquid, so it's thin. But if you have honey, the honey, the, the honey okay. is thicker, right? So then, uh, for example, then you can see that the consistence, the consistence of water mm -hmm. is thin, is liquid. The consistence of uh, honey, the honey is thicker, okay? So that thicker. You, uh, uh, thicker. For example, you know, through a little hole like this, water passes very fast because it's mm -hmm. thin but the honey is going to have more problems because it's thick or the chocolate right it means the consistency is thick okay so okay. Sure. perfect uh -huh. thank you okay but uh, for example uh, let me see i i, I want to show you another and thick is just to use it uh, to describe a, a food or or okay this book 
is thick, right? And probably the cell phone is thin. thin. Okay, thin. see the difference? Yes. Okay, here, the color. Say thin and thick, but this also, thin. and then for example, here you can say grueso y delgado, right? Okay. And when you talk about liquids, about consistency, you can say, oh, okay. espeso. Espeso como el alcohol. Thin. And, the, okay. and the opposite? Liquid. Ralo. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, Ronnie. <laughs> That's Salvadorian, good. Uh -huh. Ralo, yes. right? <laughs> so, but you see, for example, uh, the thing is, I like these questions. I like these questions because sometimes we have to interpret according to the context, okay? You can say, I don't, exactly. I don't know. I don't know and we it, don't know the exact meaning. Aha, uh -huh, exactly, right? Sometimes you can say, I don't know if it is correct to say el, el, el chocolate está grueso. No, espeso, maybe, right? In Spanish, which one sounds better? Espeso. Right? Aha, uh -huh. so then, so this is the, the difference that we have to find, okay? Thank you for the question, Guadalupe, it was nice, okay? And then that gives me the opportunity thank you. to explain too. Okay, thank you. Good, so then uh, what else? Okay, free of charge, you don't pay, very old, you see, it's ancient. Okay, so if you want to say my teacher is very ancient, okay? An ancient teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, it sounds, it, it sounds more caché, you know, than say it, I'm old man. <laughs> Good, okay, so then we have this one, and then the next topic is different. So that's the end. of section one, I guess, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Okay, then the passive voice, as I told you, practice. If you have questions, don't worry. You can still ask me questions through the chat for Monday, okay, when you study. Then uh, we can have a quick, short review if you need it. Okay, then the next topic is, let me see. Okay, now we have Sergio. Sergio Rivera, are you there? I yes. present. Perfect. Uh, Can you please read this uh, objective here? Okay, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to use past continuous and simple past to express an action which was in progress in the past and got interrupted by another completed action. Okay. So here, if you see, little by little, we are learning to, to structure or to produce more complex sentences, right? Now we are going to learn how to combine the past continuous with the simple past. And like it says here, right? So a simple past to express an action which was in progress in the past and got interrupted by another completed action. For example, you can say that I was watching TV is the action happening in the past, right? I was watching TV. And then that action, that action was interrupted by another expression, another action that happened and completed. For example, I was watching TV when it the started, telephone rang. Uh, or when it started to rain when the telephone rang. Okay, what was the interruption? The telephone rang, the rain started. Okay, when the rain started. So this is the idea here, right? That you can do something like that. I was having breakfast when my father called. Okay, I was having breakfast when uh, I got an email. Okay, I was preparing my class when the electricity went off. Okay, and then this is, you know, something that happened and was interrupted by another one. Okay, this is to give you an idea, but let's see the, the video for more information. Okay, I'll just, just let me check always the audio to make sure you listen, share my computer sound, okay. Oh, 
Hi everyone, are you ready? Let's go now talking about past continuous versus... Okay, can you hear? No problem? Yes, yes I can okay. hear. Oh, yes. here we go. No problem. There we go. Simple yes. past. I want you to listen and take a look at this. This is a timeline. Notice both actions happened at the same time, but one action began earlier and was in progress when the other action happened. So we may say, I was reading a book when you came. What you just listened to and saw was the intro to this new topic. Now we'll play the audio program so you can follow and understand it better. Remember to stay during the explanation and take notes. Past continuous versus simple past. Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. Use the simple past for a completed action. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. I will begin talking about simple past because we have studied this before. So let's review. Simple past. When do we use it? We use simple past to express that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. Read the following examples. They went to the movies. He came home. She drove my car. I will leave you with the structure of affirmative, negative and questions just for you to have it in mind and practice it. Now let's talk about past continuous. This tense has more than one use, but this time we will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. Take a look at the following examples. I was sleeping when the dog barked. She was working when he had an accident. You were painting the house when you ran out of paint. Take note on the following. We have these two words, while and when. While it is usually used with past continuous and when it is usually used with simple past. In other words, we use while plus long actions, past continuous and when plus short actions, simple past. Finally, before we go on using both tenses in one sentence, I will show you the structure for past continuous. Listen and follow it. For affirmative, subject plus was, were, plus verb, ing. Negative, subject plus was, were, plus not, plus verb, and ing. Questions, was, were, plus subject, plus verb, ing, plus question mark. Past continuous versus simple past. We often use the past continuous and the past simple tense together. The past continuous is often used with the simple past to show that one action was in progress when the other action occurred. I want you to take a look at this diagram and try to make sense of it. Now work on the following statements. You may do it with your own information. For example, you may say, last week I was driving when I got a flat tire. Remember to use both tenses just like I did. One action was in progress when the other action of plus verb, I in Past continuous versus simple past. We often use the past continuous and the past simple tense together. The past continuous is often used with the simple past to show that one action was in progress when the other action occurred. Okay, so this is the, the graph that we can see here, right? So these actions do, uh, or both of them happen in the past, right? So, but this one started first, okay? So that is, I was taking a bath. So I was taking a bath, and this one, and then got interrupted when the doorbell 
grand. So then this one. I want you to take a look at. Happens second, right? So this is the idea, okay, of this little diagram that you see here, right? Action started first. I was taking. Or they were eating. They were eating dinner. Blah, 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 blah. They were eating when the neighbors stopped by for a visit. Then the neighbors came. Okay, so this is the the idea of this little diagram here. Okay, questions in this moment? No, no question. Okay, so here, what do we have to remember? When do we use the the past progressive in this case? When the action is in the past. Uh -huh, but then we use it with what word? I was doing when. something. When. Uh -huh. No, when is with? What? While. Simple while. past, while. right? With simple past. Uh -huh. While. While. Uh -huh. While is usually used with the present progress with the past progressive in this case, right? Can also be in present progressive. But Long just, sentence. Uh -huh. And then when we say when, okay, is when we are going to introduce the action that Long was sentence. completed. Uh -huh. The simple past. Okay. Simple. And then you have a complex. You know, we have a complex sentence. Okay. okay. So now please think. Now you think about a sentence personally that happened to you today or in these days, okay? For example, uh, last night I was sleeping when I heard a noise outside my room or outside my bedroom, okay? You know, and it's true, okay? It's true. Then I... I turned on, I turned on the light, light, the light of my cell phone, okay, and guess what? What happened to you? And you know, it was, it was my little daughter, right, you know, walking in the house, you know, looking for a, for a little blouse because she was cold, and then in the dark, right, and it was about 1 a.m., so, you know, I got scared, right? <laughs> and it was my daughter okay but luckily everything was just fine but you know I was sleeping when I heard a noise okay and that woke me up okay and that woke me up okay can you tell me something brief like that that happened to you last night last month well you can use last year okay the idea is to practice the time the tense right last month last year okay mm -hmm. Okay, go Jaime. Tell me. Three months ago, I was working in my office. Uh huh. When? When we don't have quarantine. Okay, so three months ago, I was working in my office. When they, they what? When they announced, when they announced the quarantine. Okay? okay. Three okay. months ago, I was working in my office or in my workshop when they announced the quarantine. Good. So then your working was interrupted by the quarantine. Okay, who else? Me, teacher. Uh, who said me? Me, me teacher. Okay, for Jorge. Luis. Oh, yes, for Jorge. Jorge. I was, uh, I was studying. Uh -huh. I was, I was studying when the light is turned off in my house. When the light went off, went off. Went mm -hmm. off. Uh huh. Went off is when the electricity fails. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Very good. Okay. I was studying in my house when the electricity went off. Excellent. Another one. Me teacher. Okay, Beatrice. Uh, last month, I was in the shopping center when I met some friends. Okay, very good. That's a nice one, you see? Okay, you see, you can use this in different contexts, right? No problem. Last month, I was okay. in, a, in a shopping center when I met some friends, okay? And then you can say, when, when I met my best friends, when I met my friends from a school, 
or when I met my friends from high school, from university, whatever. Okay, you can uh, add more. Okay. okay. Very good. What else? Thank you. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jose. Yeah, okay. I was walking in my block when I saw an uh, accident. I was walking on the block. Okay, I was walking on the uh -huh. block. Uh huh. Yes. When I saw an accident. Okay, that's yeah. uh -huh, that's a very common one, right? So that we are walking sometimes, and then we see that something happens. Good. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> what else? What else? Hi. Okay, Adriana. Last, last week I was working while my son's teacher sent us the homework. <laughs> okay, last week I was working when my son's teacher sent us the homework okay <laughs> yes now, now wait next week you're gonna have the same okay classes start <laughs> again okay good who else who else who else come on sure yes okay antonio i was shopping at the supermarket when it started to rain perfect perfect okay good anybody else me. Yes, Ronnie. Uh -huh. Okay, Yesenia, okay, yes. Oh, yes. I was cooking the dinner when the gas finished. <laughs> okay, when I, when the, past, the gas finished, oh, when the, when I ran out, when I ran out of gas is another, that's very, that's, when ter care? that's terrible, right? When the yes. gas ran out. Uh, okay, let me see, let me see. How do you spell it? Yes, I'm going to write right now. Mm -hmm. When... I ran out of gas. Ran out. Look in the chat. Okay, I was cooking. I was cooking yeah. dinner. Dinner, you said right? When I ran out of gas. Ran out means yes. in past tense, me quedé sin gas. Okay? This okay. this can happen in your car too, right? This can happen in your car. Okay, it will never yes. happen. It will never happen to Ronnie because Ronnie is always full. You know the tank is. Always, <laughs> I always run. Full. I run to my work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I have a question. And we can uh, say I, I finish. A, uh, now it's better if you say right now because uh, finishes the gas cannot finish anything. So say that the gas finish what? The gas finish. He, he doesn't do the action. It's like, for example, I ran out of gas. Okay, something like me quedé sin, right? So this is the idea of ran out. Even when you are driving your car, you can say, for example, oof, I only have a, I am in the minimum, the letter in the empty. So then I am running, I am running out of gas. Okay, you say the gas is finishing, but probably in Spanish we feel it more. But in English it would be better if you use, if you use run out, okay, run out. Similar to finish. Teacher, yes, uh, uh, Ronnie. Uh -huh. You you can see uh, say the gas is over. It's not okay. Over. Uh huh. Yes, that's another one, right? But uh, but in that case, okay, you can use for example when the when the gas was over. The night. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. That would be like no more gas. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, you, you can. I have, you my, can uh -huh. I have my example. Yes. 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 I was driving my car when I fly a tire. When I got flat, when I tire? got a flat tire. Mm -hmm. when ah, I got, got a, a flat, flat tire. tire. The action is got. When I got a flat tire. Got. Mm -hmm. oh, flat, okay. flat is the adjective, and tire is the noun, right? Flat tire. In the noun. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. For example, you say, "Hey, you have a flat tire, right? Or your car has a flat tire." Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay. okay. Good. I was writing. Perfect. Okay, people. More. Jessica, you have, you have Okay, Eric. Also, Sibel. Me. This is the first. Okay. One. Okay, so Sibel and then Eric. Okay. I was playing basketball when it started to rain. When it started to rain. Okay, I was playing basketball when it started to rain. Thank you, Cecilia. Eric? Okay. Uh, two years ago, I was studying, but I had problems with transportation. 
so I couldn't continue with English. So it's an example. Okay, I couldn't continue. Okay, so then, uh, yes, I mean, it's not, but what the action that interrupted was? I had problems with have, transportation. Okay. When, uh, when I had problems with transportation. Yes, that's good. Perfect. Okay, okay. teacher, now. Okay, Jessica, go ahead. Then Jonathan. I yeah. did uh, a cup of coffee when my mom woke up. I made a cup of coffee. Okay. Well, I was making. I was making. Uh -huh. I was making a cup of ah, coffee. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. When my mother woke I was up. making. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. And then the, the, your, the, the action of your mother interrupted the preparation that you had of the coffee. Yes, Jonathan. Okay. Yesterday, I was having a conference on Zoom when the internet connection broke off with the rain. Ah, uh, that's terrible. Yes. Okay, but it's a good example. Yeah. Yes. So your <laughs> your conference went down. Okay. Yes. Good. Yeah. Thank you, Kevin. You wanted to say something? Yeah. Right. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I was sleeping when the door uh, closed. I was sleeping when the door closed. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, there is another one. Uh, what, sometimes you are sleeping and you have the window open, right? In your room. Yeah. And then sometimes the wind comes in and what happens to the door? It slams. Slams. Wow. Right? Slams. Right? Uh -huh. When the... When the door slam, okay, slam is like like portazo, right? Then when you hear a, and then you wake up because you hear the the noise, all of a sudden. Okay, good. And the thank very impression for slam is only one only M. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Yes. But have you seen, for example, the slam dunks in basketball? The clavados, the slam dunks. Okay, because they they uh, they they take the ball, the basketball players, and they they go like this. They slam the door. I mean, the ball in the hoop. Okay, uh, who has not participated? Guadalupe, Erica, Erica, and then Guadalupe. Okay. I was reading when he called. I was reading when he called. Okay. Who, who was he, Erica? Who? Who was he? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Okay. I, I was reading when he called. Ah, uh, I'm okay. sorry. I, I don't, no. don't understand. No, it's okay. I'm just sorry, kidding. I'm sorry. It's a joke. Okay, well, look it. What's your sentence? I was watching TV when someone, someone knocked the door. When someone knocked the door. Okay, good. Jorge Lemus. Then Evelyn. Uh, okay, teacher. Uh, I don't know. Uh, two years ago, I didn't have a pet. When I, they I, gave me. I, I didn't have a pet when they give me a dog. Okay, I was I was looking for a pet when they okay three years ago probably I was looking for a pet when they gave me they gave me a dog. Okay, okay. that could be a, an idea, right? Okay, okay. Thank, you. thank you, Laura. I was watching my favorite program. When the president interrupted, <laughs> when they interrupted me, right? Okay. <laughs> All right. Excellent, Laura. Yes, Laura. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. You know, I now that you say that, now that you say that, I remember. I think it was the day before yesterday or something at eleven. My daughter said the same. You know, I was watching the, my favorite program when, you know, when the president interrupted. Okay, good. Julio, how about you? Hello. 
Yes. Um, the last year I was visit my grandparent when I saw my ex girlfriend. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you went to your hometown, Julio. Okay, last year I was yeah. I was visiting my parent, your grandparents. When you say, hey, that, that, but that's very nice, Julio. Huh? No. You know, I, no. No. Why not? Uh, why not? It's nice when you go, you know, when you go to your hometown. It's a long, yes, but it's a long story. It's a long story. I understand you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I, you. <laughs> yes, uh, I feel you. I feel the, and I feel you. <laughs> okay, so, yes, it's a, that's a nice example, right? Okay, but you see, this is, uh, you see, you have just many different examples, so there is no, there is no limit, right? There is no uh, limitation to, to use this structure. So you can use it to practice it any way you you feel comfortable with, right? Okay, questions so far? Teacher. Yes. In, oh, you didn't say this in, oh, yes, you did. in this case, is correct this question, where will I this when were kiss? Well? Where will I this when were kiss? So no, I, I don't get it. When? Where we like this when we're kids is correct in, the ca in this case. Can you, can you, in the chat, you can see where? Mm, wait a minute. Uh -huh. Were we like this? Uh huh. Yes, comparing some of those. Were we? Were we like this? When? Okay. Uh, that's the part that I didn't get. Okay. Where? Were we like this? Okay. When? When we were. Kids. When we were. Uh -huh. Just like that. You got it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it correct? In, yes, yes, the only correct. Case? Not for this one, but the question is correct, right? Okay. Okay. Where we, for example, now a question, if you want to ask a question, you can say, for example, where. Were you, were you sleeping when the were you sleeping when the rain started? That's a question. Okay. Were you sleeping? when the rain started, okay? So that's another, another way to practice the questions, right? Okay, good, uh, let me see. Were you, okay, were you paying attention when I explained that topic? Okay, so this is another one, right? When I explained, so you can ask these questions. All right, so let me, Okay, for example, look at this example here. This is a common one, right? Okay, did you see the accident? And then the man says, yeah. yeah. The guy yeah. in the sports yeah. car, yes. this one, was, working. was talking on the cell phone. Very common. Was talking. Was talking. When he hit the other car. When he hit the other car, right? So this is a very common uh, accident. Situation. Okay, a situation. Uh -huh, in, I mean, not only here, everywhere. Okay, yes. there was a car accident, so the driver of the sports car was on the phone. What is the meaning? The driver. Uh -huh. The Inside driver of the sports car was on the phone. Exactly, right. Okay, this is, you know, what happened. 
you look at the expression on the phone, right? You can use here on the phone. Okay. This is what you saw in the video. Past progressive, he was speeding, okay, driving fast. Another way to say is speeding when the accident happened. Uh, the accident happened while you were driving. So you can see you can switch. Okay, you can swap, you can switch, and then you can use while. Here you use when with a simple pass, and here you use while with a pass progressive. The police came when the accident happened. These are the two, the two things happen simultaneously. Okay, so something that happened, for example, in the, the police came when the accident happened, something like, before that, no police. So you can use two sentences in past tense, or you can use also two things happening at the same time. They were talking while they were driving, okay? So for example, there are things that we can do at the same time, right? For example, I was taking a shower while I was? Eating. <laughs> eating, okay. Well, I was taking a shower while I was ter terribly singing, right? <laughs> singing. Yes, I was singing. Uh -huh. What else? I was waiting for the bus while I was chatting, okay, while I was chatting to my, to my dad, my, to, my, to my friends, okay, or somebody. Okay, what else? What are two things that we can do at the same time while? I was in my English class while I was drink uh, coffee. Well, I was I drinking coffee, okay? I, uh -huh. I, was, I was studying English while I was drinking my coffee cups, okay? Or my cup of coffee, right? I was studying English while I was drinking my cup of coffee. Good. Okay, so you see these are, you know, three, four different ways to say, here you have a variety to speak in different ways that you can manipulate, okay, using, Fast progressive, simple pass. You can use simple pass, and you can use fast progressive. Fast progressive. Simple pass, simple pass, fast progressive. Fast progressive. Fast progressive. Okay. So I'm you're... sorry, teacher. Yes. Where we can find this chart? This chart here in my computer, and I can share it with you. <laughs> okay. No problem. Yes. I, I have, it's, it's a presentation. Please. Yes, I have a presentation that I have. I will send it to you in the in the chat, right? No problem. Nice. Uh, and then uh, you can yes. Uh, WhatsApp chat. No. WhatsApp group, please. Yes, in the WhatsApp. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. The, okay. In the WhatsApp chat, I will put it there so that you can you can review, you can practice, and then you can and remember here, you know, you try to use different verbs, right? For example, the uh, the waiter, the waiter, uh, the the waiter saw me, the, the waiter saw me when I took, when I took the spoon and put it in my pocket, okay? okay. So I was a stealing, okay? I was a stealing in the, in the restaurant, okay? Uh, you can say, for example, the, the, what else, what else, what else? The car, the car stopped when it ran out of gas. Yes, immediately after, immediately after, when the car ran out of gas, it stopped, okay? So you can use, you know, this is the idea, right? That you can produce and practice all this kind of, uh, of sentences using these charts. And then after you have the, another chart here with explanations. Okay, I will share it with you. And on Monday, we are going to talk about the rest of the presentation, right? To practice it. And then uh, after that, we have this one. You can see also the future, okay? How do you have, I mean, so the, the past tense here, using when, the progressive, there is an explanation, okay? And some exceptions too. And when to use the comma and when you don't use the comma. Okay, everybody.
questions? Yes, huh? But there is a time for you to, to assimilate this and then you can practice it at home. Okay, so that's all for today. So we're going to see each other again on Monday, right? Monday. At the same yeah, time? Yeah, Monday. Yes. Okay, so have a good night. Have a nice weekend. Relax. Your homework is to dream in English, remember, right? You have to dream in English? <laughs> huh? Yes, that's the <laughs> Yes. Because it's rainy a lot. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, with this a lot of rain here, you can... You it's can a sleep. jog. <laughs> yes. Okay, guys, so have a good night and see Thank you on Monday, okay? Thank Bye. Thank you, you teacher. Thank you. Bye. Good, good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody.